John, Amazon has been a huge beneficiary of the pandemic and the, the stay at home orders. Is it safe to say that it may be the best company in the world right now, the most attractive and, and the, the ultimate pandemic stock? Uh, yeah, I think so. I mean, it's not quite the largest company in the world. Apple has that, but it's a couple hundred million dollars. That's, that's a day's worth of trading in either one of these stocks. Um, you know, it, 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 it's the obvious play and therefore um, you probably can't wring a lot more out of Amazon uh, from a pandemic perspective. Uh, and I think one of the nice things that we're starting to see is that uh, the market is broadening out in its advance. Uh, bank stocks are doing a lot better now. Uh, but there's a lot of different ways uh, to play um, the longer term trends or the impacts of the structural changes uh, of this pandemic. So you've got Amazon with AWS, the big cloud services, which is profitable, nice margins, and it helps to subsidize the massive e-commerce side of the business, which, is, uh, which has thin margins. I don't, I'm not asking you to get inside Jeff Bezos' head, but clearly he's a visionary. He's looking ahead. What does this company look like in three to five years? What do you think he's, he's thinking of and where does he want to go? I think one of the big, big longer term themes, he's already really, really told us, uh, healthcare. Uh, they have a joint venture investment with Berkshire Hathaway and JP Morgan. Um, logistics is about 30 to 40% of the cost of the delivery of healthcare. Uh, Amazon's the most sophisticated logistics company in the world. Um, so healthcare is one. Uh, and I think the other one is, you know, he's got this huge lock on the distribution uh, to households. Uh, I think anything that touches households, health, anything to do with house households is going to be a, an area of interest. And in, uh, he's going to go after all of it, I think. You own Amazon for your clients. You own it for yourself. So you know the risks. But how concerned are you about an antitrust case and the potential of that? Donald Trump has talked about it. Uh, is there the possibility that that could happen? I'm not worried about it, and clearly uh, the market's not worried about it. Uh, the company's worth $1.2 trillion. Um, it, you know, you look at this pandemic and the outcomes uh, of it, uh, we've seen uh, people shopping online more than ever. Uh, the penetration of online shopping of a percentage of total retail sales has doubled in the last 50 days compared to what it did in the previous 10 years. Um, and Amazon kind of, you know, not out of its own fault, it was swamped and their delivery times uh, increased dramatically. Uh, and so it allowed the Walmarts and the Targets and even the mom and pops to do online delivery in two days through infrastructure like UPS and FedEx. Shopify's business is booming. Um, and so I think this pandemic is actually uh, highlighting that there is a huge competitive threat that Amazon has to deal with. So I don't think that's an issue whatsoever. The cloud computing issue, um, you know, Google uh, and Microsoft are, are fierce, well-capitalized uh, competitors. Uh, so I don't see a, a threat there either whatsoever. I think Amazon's untouchable from any trust perspective. Okay, uh, what about another risk from a, another angle? And that would be uh, the potential of a, a public backlash. There's been criticism about Amazon, how it's been treating its employees. Um, maybe not enough safety equipment during the, the pandemic, firing whistleblowers, a high-level executive leaving the company and writing a very critical uh, memo. What about the possibility of some kind of public backlash because they're just so big, because Bezos is so rich? That kind of sentiment. Yeah, I think that th there's, there's the potential for there, uh, uh, for, for a backlash, but I'm sympathetic. I mean, hospitals weren't able to provide safe working environment for their employees. Um, and, you know, the strain that all these people, essential workers, Amazon's an essential company, uh, we're having to deal with uh, really sort of gives them, I think, some fair latitude. Nonetheless, um, there is that backlash uh, against all kinds of companies, like Facebook, one of the most hated companies in the world, and yet it's the most popular and most efficient advertising campaign uh, platform because everybody uses it. Uh, so I don't think public backlash longer term really lasts all that long.